Hey, what's up? This is Gizmo. Today we're doing a review for a brand new app. It is called Twitter Music. Now, Twitter is releasing this thing that basically congregates all tweets and stuff about music, and basically it's their little billboard charts here. So, we have Twitter, hashtag music. Um, the interface is very simple, very basic, as you can see here. It comes up with a popular one, two, three, four, five, six, blah, blah, blah. Goes and shows you what is the trending topics or trending songs or trending artists. As we can see, Psy here, we could uh, open up a frame, tap on a little frame, and everything else just comes shifting in, which is kind of cool. Uh, we could listen to a preview of the song. I don't want to get my account flagged, so we're just going to show you uh, basically what happens when you're playing the song. You can tap here to this little video player. Right now it only plays a 30 second I iTunes preview, but you can set it up so that it listens, it sets up to listen to the full song. You'd have to log into Spotify or radio. So when you tap on a song, it'll pop up here in this area. We have Pink playing right now. This is a little record player looking thing. You can see the sample here. The background behind blurs out, which is a really cool, simple little effect. You could tweet that you're playing the song. So you could just type in whatever you want, blah, blah, blah. And then it'll add this little thing here and link the person to uh, Pink's song. So once you're done listening to a 30 second sample, as you can see, it moves on to the next song. You could tap over here to go to the next track and it'll keep going through and play different songs. So when you have this player up here, you can go directly to their iTunes account. You can mess with volume. You could also go right to their Twitter page and see what artists they are following and get some other artists that you know they like listening to and follow them. And you could just basically read over the profile and stuff like that. Pretty simple. Go back here and you can see we're back in this popular list of where it has songs. You can listen to different things. When you tap on an artist that you're following, you'll see that the little blue bird is highlighted. Um, you could pop on and unfollow them or follow them. The simple click right there, simple as that. Now if you want to navigate through the app, all you really have to do is swipe over slowly to here. You'll see an emerging hidden talent found in the Twitter universe. Now uh, basically these are people who are tweeting different things and they're more underground artists and they have their own you know trending top 10 kind of thing so you could go through and listen to them it all works pretty much the same way swipe over again and now this is a, this is suggested artist um, ones that I may like basically they look at who you're following and you know what you're listening to and stuff like that and then they'll recommend artists for you so you could just tap on here if I'm into this I could follow Justin Timberlake's account um, I could listen to a song, go jump right over to his Twitter section. Now you can't read his tweets here, but that's not what Twitter music is for. It's all about just discovering music, what music he's following, stuff like that. So we'll swipe over here, back to now playing. Now these are people on my that I'm following that they are, you know, either hashtagging now playing or, you know, stuff like that. So this has a bunch of different stuff, uh, as you can see here. If you hover over slowly, you can see their little Twitter avatar pop up. And these aren't in any random order. If you want to refresh, you have this really cool box that comes down. And it'll highlight. And then refresh. So once you swipe back, you can go to your Me page. where You can see there's artists that I'm following. People can check out artists that I'm following. Music I like. And, you know, you have your basic profile and stuff like that. So another way to navigate through the app is tapping up here. You have your sections right here, popular, emerging, suggested, and now playing. We showed you all of them. The main thing here is basically like the billboard charts. You have what the most, you know, trended music and most, most tweeted music is uh, at the moment. Tap on whatever you want to listen to and just hit play. Again, if you want to log in to Spotify or radio, you can listen to the full song. Otherwise, you're going to get a 30-second sample. It's a great way to discover music. You could also search for artists. So if we want to look up Britney Spears and listen to Scream and Shout or something, we could find that. We could see the artists that she's following. So that's a quick look at Twitter music. Uh, it's a pretty cool app. There's a couple little buggy things, like with this volume. It's shaky. It's a bit shaky when you're moving your finger. Um, it doesn't really move smoothly. But uh, other than that, it's pretty cool. You tap on to play. Tap. 
It's got an interesting CD disc record player design. And uh, yeah, so if you want to listen to it on iTunes, it'll pop right up. You don't really even have to leave the app. Once it loads, you should be able to see the iTunes store where you could buy the song. Boom, right there. You could cancel out and be right back into Twitter music. So that is Twitter music. It's available for iOS. Um, I'm sure it'll eventually spread over to Google Android and, you know, make its way into other things. Uh, but for now, it's a pretty cool app if you want to discover music, if you love listening to music. This is a pretty neat thing to check out. What is the most popular music in Twitter? So, yeah. Make sure you subscribe to our videos and uh, check out our contest we have. Exciting. We're giving away apps for free to celebrate 20,000 subscribers. Pretty awesome. Thank you guys for always watching our videos, commenting, and liking. And make sure you click the subscribe button wherever it is, somewhere down here or something like that. And the like button. Give us a thumbs up because we love likes. Anyway, that's all for Gizmo today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.